Hey, so recently I've been working remotely with art directors and clients like everyone else. And uh, I was looking for kind of like tool to help me communicate uh, changes better. And I discovered uh, this tool called Keyframe Pro, uh, which is like really useful player from itself, but it's also a very powerful annotation tool. And, you know, I've been using this plugin and as you can see, I, I have this uh, scene rendered. So it's the same scene in here in cinema. And you can play back your sequences, your MP4 files. But that's not the only thing because there's many other players that can do the same. What this player can do is annotate uh, based on the uh, frame. So what you can do is just like grab the pencil or something, pencil tool here from here. And you can just like draw and stuff and mark it down. So you would ask why it's cool. It's like a frame IO if, if you ever used that tool. Of course, it's not web based, so it's, uh, it's not as easy to use, but, um, I mean, it's single payment that there is no monthly subscription and it actually runs very well as well. So let me demonstrate a little bit how I incorporate this player into Cinema 4D. So I'm just going to scale it up a little bit and yeah, I have this render and let's say I would have a Skype or I don't know, video conferencing call with a client and I would uh, show my preview of the player and then we, you know, we would discuss, uh, um, you know, we discuss changes. Let's say there's like some, some, he doesn't like something, let's say some rotation or whatnot. And uh, I would draw on top and then, you know, you would tell me if I'm drawing something that's what what he thinks about or not really. So maybe if he wants this finger not to extend as much, I can draw like finger here and be like, oh yeah, yeah, that's what I meant, he would say. And uh, it would actually remove a lot of misunderstanding that happens in these calls. Because usually you would just take a, you know, pen and paper and you would write down the changes on the pen and paper. And, you know, these things usually are quite uh, dynamic. So it you know, there's always misunderstanding and always um, stuff if you don't draw on top. And I discovered that drawing on top really, really helps. So after all, I let's say I, I did um, all my sketches here and notes. Let's say I have two notes. And, uh, you know, now I wanted, like, uh, I could go to my Cinema 4D and scrub to that exact frame and see, okay, maybe I have to, like, do the changes to this finger. So I would just like select this, maybe do the changes, whatnot. But uh, what is cool about this, you can link the preview from this player to the Cinema 4D. And you're going to need uh, this plugin called uh, Anim Tools for Cinema 4D. And it's a free tool. I will link everything below. And you can literally just like uh, enable it. Enable the link in your Cinema 4D. So I'm just going to reopen these things really quickly and go to my extensions, anim tools, and in the bottom there's enable key FR, key FP link. And what that means is enable keyframe pro link. If you enable that, let's say I'm just going to, I don't know why it turned black, uh, some visual bug. And uh, now if I scrub through the timeline, you will see that the editor is actually following that. And that's really cool if you have like very precise feedback that you want to address. And that saves a lot of time of going back and forth from the player to the, um, um, to the viewport and stuff. And I would imagine that would be very helpful to animators. So this player you can download uh, from, from this website that I'm going to be linking. So the downside of this is that Keyframe Pro is actually a uh, paid software, but it's only like one time fee. And it's, I think it's really, really worth it. It's called, it's like, uh, it's worth like $79 or something. And I mean, if you calculate how much time it will save for you in the long term, it's actually, I think, very small price to pay. So yeah, guys, uh, have fun using these. And uh, I hope some of you will find this helpful uh, and or maybe if you have some other tools that uh, you know, you can always drop those suggestions in the comments. Ciao.